A super special shout out to all my amazing members and patrons for going above and beyond in supporting the channel. If you want to join them, consider becoming a patron. The link as well as the associated perks are in the description down below. Hey everyone and welcome back to Tongo Mod. So I am just going to quickly check over here first. I want to turn these into blocks. So we're going to do this. Stop these and then just make a massive stack at the back. Boom. Yeah, I want to make sure they're constantly crafting blocks as well, not just the, the cobble over here. The moment we actually have like a thousand, I think I'm going to just quickly build this over here. Um, technically, I should probably go big or go home. The bigger it is, the better because it's going to work the best. If it's too small, it might just cave in from like one or two explosions. And we can't afford to attempt that or to test that. Um, I'm not going to take any chances. Okay, so this over here, next one's level 7. So that is for the greedy. I'm going to go for sexual transaurus. And then these are all for the mega tools. So these mega tools are Tonga mod tools. This over here says craft the quality. And also it says over here, uh, increases tool damage by 10%, block damage by 40 and resources gains as well. So basically uh, these over here, the mega augers and stuff will be able to get more resources and do more damage. Okay, I should probably have done this side later. But I mean, if I could get it done now, why not? Do you get springs from vehicles? I think you do, right? I should probably go and wrench this vehicle as well because I need springs. I think I need four to be able to make a concrete mixer so I can finally make concrete. What's the point of making a whole base out of cobble? Okay, that's how you get out. What's the point of making a whole base out of cobble if you're... If it's just going to get destroyed by like cop vomits and explosions and stuff? So if I can make it uh, concrete, or at least the bottom part concrete, that's definitely going to help us. I'm actually liking the amount of spawns we're getting as well. It's not overwhelming, but it's not easy. Why do I hear so many footsteps outside? Oh, it is a wandering ward. I'm hoping they don't uh, drop loot over there because I'm too far away from the loot. Unfortunately, the wandering hordes are just slightly too small, in my opinion. Without tough, the pure eyes are, are like the pure eyes were tough from the start, and without tough, the oh, I feel like the wandering ward should have been way stronger, way sooner. I need to have a backup gun, like a shotgun or something. If I run out of ammo on this gun, I can just switch. Too many times I've actually run out of uh, ammo on this one, I had to reload, and then the zombie just smacks the hell out of me. Okay, I hear noise, but it sounds like it's coming from outside. And I love being able to loot this fast. Although in the past, people have complained that I loot so fast, they can't see what I'm doing, so... I do technically need to slow down, but I think only for the final stashes. We'll slow down enough so you can see what I'm actually getting. I want to reload so badly. Reload before that dude jumps. Come on, come on, come on. You can do it. Oh no, he broke it. He's going to fall. Oh, you idiot. Oh, he still hit me though. That was dumb. Just because you ran the uh, the opposite direction, I was able to get a little bit of safety. Hello. You look like a mannequin just now. I didn't even realize you were real. Oh, oh we got another graphene um, hammer. This thing sells for so much. If you put a mod on this, it turns from 1.2 to like 7 point something. I'm currently actually stocking up on all of these things because I want to mod them out and then sell them. You're going to get way more cash that way. I don't think you're supposed to go outside. Nah, no, you kind of. You don't have to. Oopsie. Oh, come on. 
Oh, I need to get parkour next. I want to be able to just jump around a bit. Uh, we do have some points because I have leveled up. Let's see. Agility, parkour. This needs to be level 4. So we're going to go for parkour slightly a little bit first because I need to make sure that we can jump. Especially when you're trying to run away from zombies, being able to jump super high really helps out. Oh, this gun needs repairs soon. It's slightly busted. See, the nice thing about this M60 is it stuns. Before the zombies can even move, it stuns them in place, so it just gives me a chance to respond. And actually evaluate what's going on as well. Okay, so read, read. I need to scrap some of these schematics as well, but I never knew, know what to uh, scrap and what to keep. Ooh, also... I should probably go into pack me uh pack meal over here. That's not over here. Pack meal, pack meal, pack meal. Where are you now? Over here. I have no points into pack meal, that's why I'm encumbered right now. Close that door. Okay, yeah, it's this PO. I know this one. I need to make sure before I go for that last room upstairs, we are completely reloaded. Although, what I can do is just jump up over here and fight them from this side. But I'm just afraid they might destroy the end loot if I do that. Um, There's going to be a dude in the back corner over there. On that side. If I can kill him without waking the rest on top, I'd be able to reload in peace. Crap. Do this. They're going to fall on my head as well from on top of here. I really don't want them coming from over there because they're going to destroy my final loot. There you go. Nice. See, this is why you need a bow and arrow. Although, I don't think a bone arrow is going to be strong enough to kill that uh, biker, but if we could have taken him out without waking up the rest, reload my gun, and then come stand in this corner, you can have them all just tunnel or funnel in, uh, in over there so you can kill them easier. Damn, I'm so slow right now. Wait, uh, we just leveled up, didn't we? Nice. So I can go for pack mule. I need to go for parallel skills as well, just to make sure we can actually go a little bit more to pack mule. I think it's a one-to-one -one ratio as well. Especially now since I respec. Since I'm so encumbered, we are so screwed. We're so slow right now. I should have gone for pack meal immediately, but I didn't even think about that. Okay, so... Yeah, that's heavy armor. Ooh, but this is definitely gonna help. Uh, let's see what I can scrap. I can drop that. Don't really need them right now. I might need them later, but at the moment I don't need them. So, this one over here has graphene, this one over here is banded. Swap them out. I want to move them down the list so I can actually make sure I have the right ones on. With all the cobble I have now, I should probably go and make them on my home, or finish my home base as well. Near me again. I think you're pretty smart now. Okay, so we'll go for this. I need armor, man. Give me some armor. And steel. Ooh. Okay, so, um, I need the nails and stuff. Dump this on, wait, wait, I can actually scrap this. We have two more slots. Okay, so I'm going to take 10,000 coin and then concrete helpers. The concrete helpers is going to work with, uh, help with the horde base. Although if I go for steel armor bond, bundle, we'll be able to sell that, but I don't think we'll be able to sell it for as much as the duke tokens. Four by four parts bundle might also help because then at least we have a vehicle with more space. But I'll rather go motorcycle over 4x4 four four for maneuverability. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Now we have tier 5. So I technically need to restart this. Yeah, let's really just restart the game and then accept tier 5. Uh, because we need that new tier 5 now. Once again guys, remember, sometimes this does not work in single player. Just restart the game. And it should now be tier 5. In multiplayer, it sometimes works. Uh, I've had it like work once or twice, and then the rest of the times when we tested it, it's just the same quest until the next morning. But I don't want to wait, because it's now only like, what, midday in the game? 
I don't want to wait until the next day for tier 5s. I want those now. And, but I do need to see. We need pack mill and we need to go for greedy. And we also need to go for something to reload this weapon faster. This reloads way too slow and it's definitely going to be our end. Okay, so technically need to eat and drink all the stuff to make sure we're all the way full. And to make sure we actually have some space to work with. Jobs, tier 5 infested. Tier 5 clear, let's go for infested. Restaurant select. Oh, I know this place. I love this place. Now we can actually go and afford stuff over here. Especially the mega crushes. I want to stockpile those in case later we really need to run. If, say for example, during Horde Night the base fails, run. Run, forest, run. Okay, so yeah, we have so many cobble blocks. As you guys know, my home base over here is not done yet. The land claim represents the middle. As you can see, it goes two, uh, two pillars out, two pillars out. So it has to go out two pillars on that side and two pillars on that side. So if I complete that little bit of a section over there, it's only half the base done. If I can have this whole base done and put walls up, we don't have to worry. But first things first, I think the horde base takes precedent. If we don't go and fin uh, finish the hood uh, base in time, we'll have to use the garage again. And I don't think the passing gas over there will actually last for another horde night. Especially now since we're leveling up three times faster. So those zombies are going to be insanely OP. Okay, so we do need to make some schematics and stuff. So we'll use a VR. Um, lucky looter. What's a lucky looter? Let's just check like so. You go over here. You go to perk books. Go click on a a certain perk and go at the uh, bottom of here. 20% more ore from mining. That's definitely going to help us. Automatic weapon handbook. Each kill boost runs your... Uh, uh, each kill boosts your run speed by 20% for 20 seconds. Uh, fully automatic uh, mode does 1% more damage per hit. So if you just shoot, 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 don't click, click, click it. Just hold it in. You can craft the drum mag. That's definitely going to help the M60 so we don't have to re uh, reload that uh, much. Fully automatic mode has an increasing chance to ragdoll an enemy into with each hit. So I wonder if I shouldn't go for these. Two, four, and six. And then also the kill boost over here. Lucky looter. Enemies have a higher chance to drop loot. We need this as well. But see, I need those blue notes. I want to start making this stuff. The advanced auto miner is a must, but it's 300 notes. There's also another one that I saw over here. I was like, oh yeah, we have to get that as a graphene. Graphene's only 15 notes. Okay. So if I can go for graphene, I'll be able to start making that. We just need graphite, which we have already. Uh, graphene suit schematic with this we'll be able to make our own suits but I, I'll rather find level 6s than make level 2s we already have the chainsaw and oh if I can make the mega impact um, driver I think uh, wrenching stuff will be insanely easy then we already have the backpack we don't really need any of the other stuff over here okay so then I'm gonna go for automatics let's just make sure that of the ones first things first lucky looter 1 and 6 like Ludo 1 and 6. Oh, it actually shows yeah what you have read and haven't read. So automatics, it shows 2, 4, and 6 have closed books. So I just have to wait for these to finish and read them, and we'll be able to get more drops from zombies and do some more damage with this M60. And I want to sell this, but once again, I want to mod everything out before selling them because you're going to get so much more out of it. And just like that, there goes all of our papers. Damn. I do technically, you just have to check over here as well on the quests. Gather iron 2000. Chef class, gather oil 10. Oil, oil, oil. We only have 8 oil. And iron? I still need to go mine. We do have that one mine shaft now over there. And I did see some, no, I didn't see oil. I only saw oil shale and lead. Okay, so yeah, we need some more iron. I need to make sure we get that up. Uh, what else is there? Farmer class, 50 cotton. We're going to have to go to the forest biome for that. Hunter class. Gather stone crossbow bolts, 100. I could easily actually make this, but it's going to be a waste of wood. I think as soon as we chop down these trees over here, I'll definitely try that one. Medic class, gather atom junkies. We can actually make that at a stage as well. And then I need to kill one more biker for this quest. It's going to give me the plating graphene schematic. Nice. So instead of... I, I almost just bought it over here, but now I don't have to. I'm going to read that one, and then we need to read these. Lucky looter. Boom. Okay, so I don't have the M61 now, but at least the zombies should drop more stuff. And just in time as well for a tier 5. Although technically I should first wait for these books to finish over here. 
because we're going to need as much help as possible. So if the M60 can do more damage and ragdoll them more, obviously it's going to be a lot better for us. Okay. So we have 409 blocks of year, and we have 189 of year, and we have some of year. So we have 836 cobble, and we have 100 concrete blocks. The concrete blocks I'm going to use for the walkway itself where the zombies are going to cross, because if they explode on that, it needs to last. And then the, con the cobble we'll use underneath right now. Technically, the second block I should just make out of concrete, but we do have a little bit of concrete to upgrade them. Put them in the wrong box. Okay, we should have everything we need now. I think I actually have my springs in the wrong box. Because I've definitely received the ton of springs, but it's not in the miscellaneous box. It's not over there. Springs. We had 85 springs. I was looking just for springs. Are you kidding me right now? I want to make myself that uh, mixer, and I was like, oh, we don't have any springs. I noticed earlier when I was putting stuff away, I wasn't actually getting anything, uh, like, in the box. We had springs, but when I checked the video, there were no springs left. So I technically should have checked that sooner, shouldn't I? Okay, this one over here, we'll just add in the mixer. Um, yeah, it can, it can, it can wait. We don't really need it right now, but we are going to need it later, so I'll just put it at the back like so. Okay, let's go to that tier 5 and see if we can't just really clear it. I'm going to take some XP Elixir as well. The more we level up right now, the better. I want to make sure we max out Tongo skills and then go for Greedy maxed out and uh, Sexual Tyrannosaurus maxed out. That's already going to help us so much. Also, the Mad Gunslinger. These are for... Normal guns. I thought it's just for Tongo guns. I was about to say, wait, are they Tongo weapons? Deals 20% more damage, fires and reloads 10% faster. Rifles, shotguns, pistols, or machine guns. So the more we go into this, the more damage they do. And with how tough the zombies are getting right now, I mean, look where, as when there's a few, just like one radiator, it's easy. Two, three, eh, it's okay. The moment it gets to like five, six, all of a sudden I have to run for my life. But if I can do more damage, why not? Okay, so technically I should just loot everything on the way out. Because when you take an XP elixir, the looting doesn't give you as much XP as killing a zombie. Obviously. So if I stop and uh, range stuff, loot stuff, all that stuff, I know that's a lot of stuff, <laughs> but if I do that, what ends up- Oh, crap. What ends up happening is um, you lose out on that XP elixir. There's a the cop that I heard. Oh no, it was just a tourist. See, that's why we need to go into the other gun skill of it. At the moment, the M60 is doing slightly too little damage. Oh, there's my biker. Thank you. But I mean, since we can loot so fast, look at that. Uh, wh uh, what's being wasted? Like a minute? I always say I shouldn't, and then I end up doing it anyways. It's just, it's fast. If the uh, loot timers were anything like Ravenhurst, then I wouldn't be able to do this. But the loot time is nice and fast. That spider's incoming, so I have to be careful. I have to be careful just in case there's like a massive wandering horde coming through. The moment I read that one book to make uh, drum mags, I'm going to make one immediately. If I can make a drum mag for this gun, although it doesn't already... Yeah, it already has one. What am I talking about? I was about to say, damn, if I had a drum mag, it would hold more ammo, but at the moment... Even with what we have, it runs out of ammo really, really fast. See, all of them are feral, so technically we can't even stun them anymore. Perhaps if I had like an AoE shock effect, then it would work. Like with a melee horde base or something. Whoa. Oh, now that more zombies are going to drop, more of them will drop the blue notes as well. Yeah, with all of them being basically feral, the stun baton is just not going to work anymore. I could technically just leave it behind because we don't need it at the moment. Okay, don't... Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, someone actually mentioned this and uh, that's why I'm doing this right now. Um, pick up chairs. The funny thing is I usually pick up chairs. 
And the one times I uh, one time I actually don't pick up any chairs, you need the wood. As you guys know, you can turn wood into other resources in this mod. So it's definitely worth picking up. I think it's also because in Ravenous you can't pick anything up. You have to go and destroy stuff. Like if you want to pick up the potted plant, you can't just go yoink. You have to go and break it with a shovel. So because you can't do it there, I keep forgetting it to do it over here. Now all we have to do is go and scrap the chairs. And we have like 60 something over there. As soon as we have 100, we can go and make ourselves the uh, another bundle of resources. It's, it's a slow process, but I mean, if you're looting a ton of POIs, it's not that slow. Why does it seem like they're breaking through the other side? It looks like you're breaking through that door over there to get to me. It's a shame you can't loot while reloading. I wonder, does that other skill also count for reloads? Uh, this one. Reload 10% faster, yes please. And already it's going to be 30% faster. Yeah, that's a big difference already. Damn. It doesn't look like much, but it feels, you can actually feel it's faster. Hello, radiators. And now that does more damage, you can actually feel it as well. That's awesome. You idiot. Just because you got stuck over here, not really doing any damage. See, if you do POIs like this, after a while you'll have so many chairs in your inventory just because you keep grabbing them, grabbing them, grabbing them. Hello, zombies. As soon as I read the other thing, just doing this, holding down the buttons, gonna do more damage. Although you have to be like right up in the faces not to waste ammo. Oh, last time there wasn't any zombies in here. Nice. One skill point to spend. We have to go into pack build as soon as possible as well. Obviously with these, there's so many skills. Nice sniper rifle. There's so many skills that really do help a lot. But I feel like pack mill especially is going to help, uh, especially now because we need the space. We need to be able to carry stuff. What's this? What's this? Only one book. Are you kidding me? Okay, and then we have to fall down. Not this hole. That goes back to the uh, to the kitchen. You can wrench these over here for more forged iron. It's not that over there. There's another hole. I think it's over here at the back. You have to fall down this hole over here, and then you're in the next section. Okay, so, uh, before we continue, the sniper rifle is actually a really great weapon. It's like the best weapon A21. But with how feral and how fast all these zombies are, I'll rather stick to this M60 for now. Let's just wake them up as well. Okay, it seems like they didn't wake up. No, you don't. Trying to sneak up from behind on me. That is not going to work. No siree. Oh, um, points. Go into strength. No, no. Um, these skills have been so moved around that you have to get used to wh where's what again. Hello. I have to be careful not to destroy the final stash. I'll just throw it around the corner like this. Okay, <laughs> that was a little bit close for comfort, damn. I've noticed my laugh has changed so much. It's always this <laughs> kind of a giggling thing, because um, I'm always trying to be as quiet as possible at nighttime when I'm streaming. But now when I'm recording or anything, my vo uh, laugh just sounds so damn weird.
It's a shame that a tier 5 infested means a tier 4 that's been upgraded. I wish a tier 5 infested was a tier 5 that was even harder. That just feels like it makes more sense to me. Okay, ammo. We need a lot of space right now. Oh, do you know what I really need? A drone. I need to see exactly what I need to be able to get that drone. If I can make myself one. Oh, man. Let's grab that one. Read that one. I can open up a few things. Let's just eat that one. Yeah, if I had myself a drone right now, that would really help. 28 items encumbered. Do you have any steroids? Damn, look how slow I am right now. Oh, if she screams, I'm screwed. But I don't think that door's open yet, so I shouldn't- I should be okay. Although I just opened it up for her. Okay, I don't think she's- uh, it's a wandering horde. I wonder if this is a wandering horde or just random spawn. Oh, Pistol Pete, Soldier Class Box. Ooh, can't drop that. Um. Okay, I need more space. I need way more space. And that might have also just dropped something. That can't hold more. That can't hold more. This can hold some. Pistol Pete, Volume 1. And that over there. I don't know if that's something I dropped or need or what that, what that was. Okay, now, is this a wandering horde or is this from the screamer? Because all of them are radiated. So the screamer must have screamed before I could actually hear it because they yeah. I think the screamer definitely screamed. That can't be just from a wandering horde, right? If I'm already getting just radiated wandering hordes, that is insane for day 11. Okay, so let's just make sure we have the right glasses and everything on. Yep. I'd shake your hand. Uh, you impact driver, yes. <laughs> Going from that to an impact driver, we're skipping the ratchet. So I'll take that and we'll take the steel. Thank you. Any more infested? Let's go for the infested first. Well, if I can do this before midnight and accept other tier 5 infested, that will definitely help us out quite a bit. But being at 8 already, I don't know if I'm going to be back in time, especially with how encumbered I am right now. I wonder if I shouldn't just make a dump chest so it's easier to just drop stuff and then during night time I can come back and do some work. And also, the nice thing about the trees being this tall now is you can actually see your bike. When the trees are just uh, starting to grow, you can't see anything over here but leaves. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just quickly drop this off then and then we have to go to this tier 5 infested. And then as soon as that's done, I think the other books over here are also ready to be read. Come on, please, please, please. I need you to remember to also take our XP elixirs. These XP elixirs will definitely be able to help us out a bit. What is that? Tech planet and ammo. Yeah, well, the XP elixirs were able to level up even faster, so we need to do that. Because I need those skills for, uh, like, the pack meal and stuff. Okay, so this POI should be fast enough. Oh, whoa. I saw the vomit. I was like, what's coming at me right now? Three cocks! I mean, I know it's a tier 5 infested, but three cops. Damn, man. <laughs> I was wondering why I had to keep dodging vomit. Need to make sure nothing comes from the side of here. And every time I have a chance, I need to quickly reload as well. Okay, there's definitely going to be some zombies inside. Oh, there might be another wolf or something on this side. Yep. They do not play well together, it seems. Oh, hello. At least you came from outside. Oh, nice. Because I read the M60 book now, or the automatics book, I just knocked all of them down. I was wondering why it's taking them so long to get to me, but I knocked them all down. Okay, so there used to be a hardened chest over here, but it seems that changed in A21. I'm guessing they're like, oh no, it's too many boxes, or too many, too much loot. Too much easy loot. Let's just take all of that away. And I love this instant loot. Oh, there's gonna be a dude on the table to the right and a ton to the left. Hello? 
Just crawlers. Okay, that's that was the easiest uh, one I've ever done in this POI. Come on, grab all the chairs, please. Thank you. It's so awesome when you can actually pick up all the chairs. Like in Ravenhurst, you can't pick up lunch again. Uh, just like you can't pick up clay pots and wooden chairs, you can't pick up office chairs. You have to arrange them on the spot. And especially since we struggled getting arranged for so long. Oh, is there a red dot outside? As you can see, I'm knocking them way easier now that I have the other skill. I'm really glad that I invested in it. Okay, yeah, 34 shots, definitely not going to be enough. Okay, not not too bad. I'm I'm actually moving through this place. The roof section is going to be the worst. I have to make sure this gun is fully reloaded by then. And also that red dot over there is bothering me. I think that red dot's outside. Oh, they were over here as well. Didn't know that. Didn't know that. I was expe actually expecting some cops and stuff up here. Because this is one of the tougher parts in the, uh, in the POI. Okay, so that's going to be zombie over there and a zombie falling from the roof as well. I need to be careful not to accidentally destroy my loot at the back, especially if there's like an ammo pile or something. Okay, one more zombie left, but where? Right underneath me for some reason. How did I miss that zombie? Okay, so now we make sure we put the other loot goggles on, or loot gloves. Do this. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ooh, nice. And do this, and then before we close this one, we do that. That way we don't accidentally forget to put it back on and get to the trade and only accept one reward. Do you know how many times in the past I've accidentally accepted one reward? It's insane. And it's almost uh, 12 o'clock. If I can accept the other tier 5 before 12, we'll basically have a free tier, f tier 12 to do. Is there a bunker to this place? I can't remember there being a bunker or something over here. Oh, there was a snake that was stuck. It was just how easily you can fail a quest because of something that dumb. Damn, I almost failed this just because of a bloody snake. Let me... They are wearing the double reward one. Auto shotgun, auger... Graphene helmet that is heavy armor, but we can mod it out. I think let's go for these two. I could go for these and sell them, but we have a level 6 auto as well. This auger over here is weaker than mine. So, uh, so we'll go for the, the helmet and we'll go for the wasteland treasure over here. Jobs, tier 5 infested. Boom. Let's make a pact. So now we can do this before uh, mid... Well, not before midnight. We can do it after midnight, but we now have infested. Say the trader just reset and he didn't have infested, we would have lost out. I hear a zombie somewhere. Okay, uh, let me just go put everything away and then we will keep questing and building and stuff. I actually feel like doing a little bit of building next episode. Because we do need to start... Oh, hello. We do need to start making sure that we can actually get a ward base done by day 14. I mean, obviously the design is super easy, so I'll be able to do it. Um, I Also, yeah, I'm looking for a sledge. I wonder if we have a robotic sledge. Because I don't want to make it a cheesy base or too easy base. It's basically going to be a straight line to me for the zombies. But I do want a sledge to be able to knock them down. But yeah, if you guys liked this episode, please like it share with your friends. Comments, tips, and feedback. Leave that down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more Tongo Mod Fun. Members and patrons get shoutouts in all of my videos, get access to a private members-only Discord channel, and as a thank you for supporting the channel, get access to my Seminace that I server. If interested, check out the links in the description down below.